using the magic eraser is as magical as you might imagine. It's useful in some select scenarios, but I don't use it often. It depends on the image. It can be used quickly and easily, but if you're dealing with an image with a lot of different color information, you may find it to be a little unpredictable and sometimes disastrous. Its best purpose is usually on high contrast images when you're removing a solid color background. And I'll show you how to do it on this example. On this example, I have a pink paint splotch on a white background. What I wanna do is isolate the pink paint splotch where I can just drag it, drop it on another image, and the white is all gone. That is where the magic eraser comes in very handy. Magic Eraser is over here under all your erase tools at the very bottom, E on the shortcut menu, and here's what it looks like. I'm going to have my tolerance on 10. I'm going to have anti-alias checked. That smooths the edge transitions as the little pop-up implies. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on contiguous, although we're going to change that later. If I were using multiple layers, I could sample all of them and then it would try to do the same thing to each layer that it's doing to the one I'm actually currently working on. And I'm going to leave the opacity at 100%. Right now, if I were to click into this white with the magic eraser, you'll see the magic. It all is gone. It's very quick, it's very efficient, and especially on a single flat color, it's very useful to get rid of it quickly and easily. I will point out one thing though. Over here there's a patch of white which was not erased. It was not erased because it wasn't actually touching the edge of any of the other erased pixels. When you have contiguous selected, it will only erase neighboring pixels. It won't jump another color to erase. So you'll have to erase that separately. The problem with that is you might miss several places along the way. So let's undo and try that again. And this time we're going to make sure we have contiguous unchecked and we're going to magically erase. And you'll notice this time it did erase everything. Every instance of that color to a tolerance level of our selection, in this case 10, has been erased and we have a perfectly isolated splotch of paint. So a very useful, very quick tool to use. If you try it on an image with a lot of color information such as this, and you click, you may notice that it creates some very strange and random results. It's not always the best, and the edging can be very choppy on gradients, but when you're using images with single flat colors or you're erasing flat color backgrounds, a really quick, efficient way to do that and move on.